Hey, my name is Kurt Olney. I was a crew chief on the Army Lockheed Y03A uh, Quiet Star in Vietnam, 1970-71. This was originally a Schweizer SGS-232 glider that was highly modified to be silent and fly over the enemy in Vietnam, 1970-71. The airplane flew at about 72 knots, and when it got over a mission target, about 62 knots. It had highly sophisticated uh, mission equipment on it, second generation night vision aerial periscope, and infrared illuminator. The propeller operated at about 800 RPM, so you don't, it didn't get any uh, vortices noises on the, on the propeller. The uh, second thing, it had a highly, muff highly muffled engine, and it's an asymmetrical airplane with the exhaust system running the complete length of the airplane. The ball hanging underneath the airplane is the night vision, you got that there, yeah, the night vision aerial periscope, and that's the second generation that turns around and the observer who sits in the front can uh, track the target on the ground at night. This plane only flew at night uh, on missions. The, uh, at the back of the airplane, you go toward the tail, the fuselage there, back of the fuselage, you'll see that's an infrared illuminator, and that basically is a kind of a flashlight that assists the, the observer in seeing a target on the ground, and is also used to paint the target for any kind of um, action by uh, gunships that were equipped with infant systems in Vietnam. These airplanes operated in Vietnam for 14 months. There were nine of them operating in Vietnam for 14 months. Um, in that period of time, none of them uh, took a round. None of them were shot down. Uh, the total of 11 airplanes were built after Vietnam. Uh, the FBI used uh, two of these airplanes and for about, uh, about 10 years they were used in uh, Patty Hearst case, wounded knee, uh, the kidnapping and extortion cases. NASA still has one of the airplanes uh, uh, operational and it is used as a flying microphone and we're hoping to get that at an air show sometime in the near future. And there is a future for silent airplanes down the road. We've got uh, uh, one company is working on uh, making a, a quiet a UAV. Can you discuss a little bit the propellers? What do you want me to do now? On the, on the propellers. Okay. Uh, the propeller uh, on these airplanes, um, uh, like I said, they, they have an RPM of about 800 RPM. And they're, the gear reduction on these things are uh, radiator belts. The, um, uh, we call them radiator belts, 12, 12 belts that reduce it. Instead of using gears, which make a lot of noise. Everything designed about this airplane is to reduce noise. Clean air frame, uh, quiet uh, engine, a lot of big exhaust and a very slow turning propeller. Can we go to see the propeller, the okay. exhaust? Okay, where the exhaust comes out? Mm -hmm. Okay. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, this is where the exhaust comes out uh, of the airplane. And if you see, you see it runs the entire length of the airplane. If we come over here behind this cowling, it starts at the trailing edge of the airplane. Behind this cowling is a muffler, and then there's a thing we call the piccolo tube, which is a noise cancellation uh, muffler. So any noise that comes out of the muffler is completely eliminated, plus the baffling over the outside keeps any noise from coming out. The exhaust pipe, you can see the exhaust pipe right over the wing here. Okay, the, uh, not the exhaust pipe, excuse me, but the yeah, it is the exhaust pipe, but uh, over the wing. This is was put over the wing to allow heat dissipation, but also there was concern at the time that they were developing uh, heat-seeking uh, ground, ground-to-air uh, missiles, and they didn't want anything picking up uh, this airplane. Okay, let's take a look on this one. This is an infrared illuminator. You got your infrared illuminator and it had a high and a low beam on it so you could get a different different paint on the thing. 57 foot wingspan and again your airframe is very very tight very very smooth uh, 
lot of testing went into making sure there was no noise. You want me to tell? Okay. Uh, you want to speak about here, this one? Give me over here like this. Okay.